Hello Taurus, it's my lady from my lady's week tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of January 5th, 2018. The cards I'm using today are the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on for the Taurus? Taurus, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? Okay, okay Taurus, so it seems like some kind of unexpected money coming in, maybe some unexpected raises coming in, then I see this right here, maybe some unexpected love is coming in, maybe an unexpected job, whatever this is, this is going to be extremely fulfilling, whatever this is, they come in, okay? This could be somebody that's coming to visit you from out of town, and you've been wanting to see this person forever, you know, and finally, here they is. Here, here they are, all right? All right, so we have the Two of Cups, so it seems like some kind of misunderstanding was had here. Somebody can't see um, on the same level, okay? All right, so it seems like somebody is feeling trapped by a situation. Okay, uh, I keep hearing army. Okay, so um, it makes me feel like somebody is feeling like they're trapped in a relationship. And I feel like somebody's getting ready to come back and help them remember what, what, what they're waiting for. Okay, so that's just right there. That's not for everybody. That's just a strong feeling I was getting right there. Okay, I feel an army, but it could be a truck driver. It could be anybody who's gone with their job for a long amount of time. Somebody is definitely lonely here. All right, um, so we have the Father of Swords reverse. All right, so let's go back with this swing of things. So we got the Two of Cups reverse, which is um, somebody's not seeing eye to eye about the situation. We got the Eight of Swords. Which makes me feel like somebody feels like they're trapped. But mentally, they can go wherever they want to. And then we have the Father of Swords reverse. This makes me feel like somebody's trying to analyze the situation um, to do what's best for them. Okay? Let's see what's best for them. What is this Father of Swords reverse? About one card, please, for the Taurus. All right. So we got the Daughter of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like somebody may have issues with the way somebody's spending money, okay? Or some the way somebody's spending their own money, all right? Sorry. It seems like somebody's trying to change the situation where they get more, okay? Yeah, I feel like somebody may be sneaking around doing stuff. Like maybe somebody got an issue with buying stuff, buying a lot of stuff. And I do feel like somebody feels trapped. And I feel like it's because of this spending issue they have. Somebody just keep blowing money on nothing. <laughs> or on stuff that, that they want to do. But I feel like whatever this is, it's like, I feel like it might be a, a, an obsession or something. All right. Somebody just a compulsive buyer. And I feel like they stuck with somebody because of this. Okay, this is the, you know, stop doing that card. This is the, I'm going to stop doing this, but, you know, I'm not going to stop doing this. And this is the manipulating the situation to get what they want so they're able to spend what they want. Okay, so I feel like somebody may even be causing arguments and drama and stuff to do what they want to do. All right. Okay, so... It seems like other than this situation where um, somebody's spending money like crazy or just spending time somewhere they shouldn't be, I feel like the relationship is quite stable, okay? It's a nice foundation. I don't feel like it's uh, too much arguing. It's just a little bit of disagreeing, but it seems like somebody has a, a big issue when it comes to blowing money. All right. Okay, so we got the Mother of Cups here. This makes me feel like for some of you, this isn't just a compulsive buying or, or you know, trading or whatever. 
this could be somebody just always giving their money or their things to someone else a very giving person somebody feels trapped in the need to give but then they hurt the people that's around them like sort of hurt them but just i don't want to say hurt i want to say uh i don't want to say disgust it's a d word though but you know disappointed they disappoint the people they love to help the people around them okay okay so it seems like some you're dealing with a, a given person too but it seems like this person is giving but not as much as you you're not you're doing too much you're giving too much okay so it seems like somebody is not happy with the amount of giving you're doing they don't mind giving but like okay 100 200 there you know but you're like thousands at a time you know or like five or ten dollars here somebody's doing hundreds so it seems like somebody's just over and above, above and beyond on everything okay But I feel like somebody is like, something told me, look at this. The only thing came right back out. Like, don't forget about me. Yeah, so it seems like, yeah, somebody is not happy about this. I feel like this person does like to give. But I feel like you guys are definitely um, turning your backs on each other. Because um, one person wants to give way more than the, the other. Okay? And it's just not sitting right. All right? So it seems like somebody was in deep thought about this situation borderline depression but it seems like somebody's working their way out of it but i feel like um somebody is starting to accept like this is what i'm gonna do this is what i have to do and i feel like the partner business partner whatever kind of partner as well like i'm like well if they gonna do that so it's like nothing i can do about it but try to figure out ways to make sure it work you know but i feel like you don't want to drive yourself into a situation where you can't get out of trying to help other people all right but i feel like if this is your reading you know exactly what i'm talking about but that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs thanks for watching